so you can stop gaining weight. You tried every single workout and diet out there and nothing seems to work out for you. You're frustrated because you have a lot of friends in your circle who can eat whatever they want and still be thin. So you're wondering how on earth do they manage to do so? Yes, I'm one of those lucky people. So let me tell you why and how you can do it too. Because yes, everybody can do it literally everybody okay first things first your metabolism is not the problem so stop using that as your excuse let's be honest the reality is that metabolism often plays a minor role and even healthy food or physical activity everybody should know that friend that is 24 hours just playing games and eating junk food and he still being thin as hell, so definitely there is something else, right? Okay, number one, stop repeating what you see in your physical reality. Stop saying I'm fat, I'm whatever. Stop looking at yourself in the mirror and focusing only in your belly fat or whatever part of your body you don't like. And throw the scale the fuck away, you don't need that. Like, I think I didn't use mine in years, so I don't know how many kilograms I have right now. You just need to be comfortable in your body, be healthy, and look at yourself in the mirror and say, yo, look at this freaking sexy, beautiful woman. I could be a supermodel. And that's it. And I can hear you saying, oh, but what are you talking about? What does this have to do with losing weight and blah, blah, blah? Look, there are plenty of videos out there talking about diet and workouts, but I think almost nobody talk about the mental and spiritual side of it, despite of how important this is. What's in your mind will be in your physical reality, and of course that includes your body. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between your physical reality and your thoughts, so it will manifest into your physical reality wherever you are thinking about you and your body. If you think, oh, I'm fat, or I will never have my dream body, or I'm too lazy to go to the gym, or um, whatever I eat, it will make me gain weight, so... What are you manifesting? Your body is a perfect machine created to help you, heal you and keep you alive. But you have to cooperate. Starting with your thoughts. You have to be one with your body. Don't hate it. Do not have negative feelings or negative vibes. Your body can feel everything and will feel that. And usually that turns into diseases. You don't have to trust me. Just go search about the rice experiment of Masaru Emoto and try it yourself. He put two glasses of water and rice. So to one of them, he will be always just saying nice things and lovely things. And to the other one, he will be basically just bullying it and saying bad things. So what's the result? After one month, Masaru Emoto discovered that human thoughts and intentions can really affect our physical reality. And in this specific case, the molecular structure of water. Now think that you are 80% water and your feelings and your thoughts are basically in the center of you. Now you can think this is just bullshit and see how how your own body is going to respond to negativity in the form of diseases or you can be aware of it and prevent it. There were two years of my life, the only two years of my life actually, in which I have gained a lot of weight, even being an actor of metabolism. I was about 60, 63, 64, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, uh, kilograms at that time. And maybe for you it's not a big deal, but I was always no more than 50, let's say 54 maximum kilograms. And so for me, that was abnormal. At that time, I've been independent from my parents, I guess, for two or three years. Um, so I moved to a new city all on my own. I was so stressed every day working. And also I was in a pretty toxic environment, pretty much everywhere, like at home, at work and with my relationships, so I was pretty much depressed. I didn't care about myself that much, I even hate myself somehow, so I just didn't pay attention to what I ate, and I basically had no control over myself. I didn't really care about anything. Real problem here is not just the weight, but those were the two years of my life when I was sickest the most. I even developed an infection that lasted four years, for which I had a uh, surgery last year, actually. If I wasn't working, I was at the doctor, so I literally met the doctor more times than I even met my ex-boyfriend, no joking. Sometimes I ran out of work at 8 p.m. and I was working from 8 a.m. to go to Kung Fu, running literally. Then I will get home at 11 p.m. and guess what? There is no dinner on the table ready to be eaten by your mom. So I will go to the fridge and I will eat whatever I had that night and then just go to sleep for tomorrow. 
next day at work of course i will eat whatever junk food from the supermarket next door just to satisfy hunger and continue working so if you're at that point of your life too just please stop because that's insane i remember my mom she noticed that i was gaining weight which was definitely not normal for me and it was obvious that i wasn't taking care of myself and she told me don't you feel sorry for me like even during the communist time i fed you as best as possible even with the little that i had i didn't even go to work so i could make you food when you came home from school now what the hell are you doing like you have became independent and now you're fucking up all my efforts and that really hit me so i was thinking about that all day and i just realized that even if I was depressed or whatever, there's no reason to not take care of myself. So from that day until now, I started to take more care of myself, more care of what I eat, exercise more, give up junk food as much as possible, and little by little, I return to my original shape and weight. If you do things right, your body will do things right for you as well, right? So you will see how naturally you're starting to be more healthy and lose weight until you reach your ideal body. Transform your insecurities into challenges. Like, look, even if sometimes I will look at myself in the mirror and I clearly see parts of my body that I don't like, like for example, oh, my waist is not that slim, uh, I wish my thighs were slimmer, my butt is not that big, whatever. I only see that as a challenge to myself as a motivation even. So next day I will start looking for workouts for that specific area of my body that I don't like and I will start working on it until I get my desired results. It's basically all about attitude. Don't spread negative energy into your food. Like you see, whenever I have to go on a date, meet my friends or I just go eat in a restaurant, uh, you know, I'm human, so I don't like to limit myself that much. Of course, I love food and I, I will feel miserable easily if I can eat my favorite strawberry pancakes or just a freaking hamburger whenever I want. Of course, it's not something that you want to eat every day, but of course, sometimes you want to treat yourself and you should. So if you're treating yourself with that freaking pancake that day don't mess it up don't eat that freaking pancake worrying that much about oh how many calories does it have or oh, how much weight i'm going to gain uh, after this meal because you're literally throwing negative energy into your food and probably that will end up doing more harm than it should enjoy your meal be thankful for it be happy for it think about how yummy it is and just say i can eat whatever i want because i will not gain weight i have very fast metabolism manifest it your body is always listening period and expect a change in your life by doing the same things over and over again same with your body if you're at this point already i'm like i'm assuming that you don't have your desired body right now so that's why you're watching this video Stop doing whatever you were doing until now and start doing things completely different, completely opposite. So for example, let's say if you were always just watching Netflix and eating junk food, now it's time to do the opposite thing, which is go to the gym and eat healthy. Assume that it's your fault and your responsibility. Don't blame your metabolism, your friends, your the food or whatever. Your body, your responsibility to take care stop taking action stop taking action <laughs> start taking action of course you won't change your body 100 percent just meditating and manifesting right successful manifestation comes always along with your collaboration and your action in this physical reality not just your mind so once you're done rebooting your mindset here's the action part let's simplify this into two types of metabolism slow metabolism and fast metabolism slow metabolism burns fewer calories which means more calories get stored in our body as fat so that's why some people have difficulty losing weight just by cutting calories fast metabolism burn calories at a quicker rate which explain why some people can eat a lot and not get that extra pound so you have to focus on speeding up your metabolism there are some useful ways to do this and most of the studies and doctors agree in four principal points number one is high intensity exercise dr chi Hao lee professor of genetics and complex diseases of harvard university suggests you to add training to your regular routine in a period of internal training your metabolism can stay ripped up for as much as a full day 
For example, when you're walking or jogging on a treadmill or outside, speed up for 30 to 60 seconds and then slow to your usual pace. Repeat the cycle for 8 to 12 minutes. Second is ice baths. Now, personally, I hate ice baths. I will feel miserable if I have to shower with cold water. But if you don't have any problem with cold water, I really, really encourage you to do this because it's so healthy and it can help a lot more than you think. Third one is, of course, guided. And I repeat, guided intermittent fasting through intermittent fasting a person should never and i repeat again never decrease drastically the amount of food okay it's not about that okay i've seen a lot of people failing their intermittent fasting journeys by reducing drastically the amount of food thinking that if they starve they will get results and that's not true and that's unhealthy this point is maybe the most important one if you really want to kind of reboot your metabolism and be able to eat whatever you want, let's say, or just eat a lot without gaining that extra pounds or not gain weight. Okay, but I can make a whole video about this topic. So if you're interested on it, just let me know because I can share my own experience with intermittent fasting. And yes, I do intermittent fasting every week. Fourth is green tea or matcha. And yes, I also drink matcha latte every single day. Studies have found that green tea contains a compound called epigallocatechin galate, of course, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, which may increase the calories and fat you burn. 2011 meta-analysis published in Obesity Reviews found that consuming about 250 milligrams of epigallocatechin galate, whatever that's called, the amount in about three cups of green tea or matcha, help boost metabolism enough to burn an average of 100 extra calories a day. And be careful with this, don't drink matcha or green tea before 7 p.m. because it contains 70 milligram of caffeine. Now, another personal tip, don't eat anything. And I will repeat again, anything after 7 p.m. because that's called biological clock in traditional Chinese medicine. Like I have a whole book about that topic and I also studied at university so that's a real thing to be aware of to kind of understand more the chinese body clock you first have to learn the concept of qi in short qi is a word used in chinese medicine to describe energy it consists in energy in every sense of the word for example earth has qi and does your body and even thoughts and emotions have qi so the chinese body clock is built in the concept of Qi. During 24 hours, qi is thought to move in two hours intervals throughout the organ systems. While you're sleeping, qi is believed to draw inward to fully restore your body. That's why it's so important to have a good sleep schedule. The most significant aspect of the body clock, I would say, is its ability to explain how our body functions at a particular moment and hour of the day in order to maintain our wellness and fight disease so that's why it's so important the body clock tell us when is the best moment of the day to eat sleep or exercise among many other things so that's the real question why you shouldn't eat after 7 p.m then because i know that in western countries that sounds crazy for example i live in here in spain and I see people here having dinner um, at 10 or even 11 p.m. But let's take a look at the Chinese biological clock again. You see, the stomach's best time, let's say, it's in the morning from 7 to 9 a.m. This is the time when the stomach organ system is at its peak. This is the ideal time to eat a big meal, a big breakfast, and the stomach is best able to digest food at this time. So, of course, the worst time for the stomach to have a big meal is 7 p.m. or later in the evening, when the stomach is at its energetic low point. This is why it's recommended to have dinner by 6 p.m. and stop eating for the night by 7 p.m. I'm being honest with you guys, I don't stop eating by 7 p.m., okay? But I will definitely try to stop eating by 8 p.m., maximum every single day when i say stop eating i say stop eating until next morning like no nuts no cookies no chips no fruit no nothing 
Of course, there are days when the schedule gets me wrong for whatever reason, or I just take dinner in a restaurant, or let's say I will go to the cinema with my friends. So, of course, I won't stop eating by 7 or 8 p.m. that day, and no problem, okay? That's totally fine. Don't be so strict with yourself. It's totally fine if you, let's say, break this rule one day or one time. So just try to make this a lifestyle and take it seriously, that's enough. But trust me, this point is key because it doesn't matter what I eat or how much I eat in a day, as long as I stop eating by 7 or let's say 8 p.m., I will wake up the next morning like with a flat stomach, like if I haven't eaten anything yesterday and it's like, what the heck. So you, you just do it and then thank me later. And last but not least, Eat charcoal. Yeah, you got me right. Eat charcoal. Activated charcoal has a lot of amazing properties and that's why it is used both for health and cosmetic products. It has several health benefits and that's why it have been used like an anti-poison treatment even since the early 80s. That's because it can bind to a wide variety of drugs, reducing their effects. It is also very effective reducing gases, so it can definitely help a lot reducing flatulence. Whenever I have gases on my stomach or I feel so heavy after eating, my mom has always given me that uh, activated charcoal pills and seriously, it works like magic. This is so used in Eastern European countries, our grandpas were eating charcoal for centuries in villages and that's how, I mean, one of the reasons of course, how they managed to live for plus 90 years in the middle of the mountain without car, without pharmacies, without doctor, without anything. So I have this charcoal base from Eastern Europe, it is called Carbotit. Every time I go, I buy a lot of this because here in Western countries, here for example in Spain, I can find a pure 100% activated charcoal like this one. They only have coconut charcoal and it's not the same thing. <laughs> Whenever I ask here for activated charcoal pills, uh, people at pharmacy will stare at me like, what? Like, are you crazy? What? So these ones, like, you can literally draw with these pills if you want. Like, look. I don't know if you can see in camera, but look. It's, it's black. <laughs> you know, it's pure charcoal, like nothing else. So if you want to be slim and healthy at the same time and maintain the weight you want, just remember that if you do things right, your body will do things right for you as well. It's that simple you will see the change naturally. Don't let anybody tell you that, oh, you can do it. Discipline, action, and attitude, that's it. Think about this. If humans can create huge spaceships to travel to space, you can definitely maintain a diet, speed up your metabolism, have your dream body, and be healthy, period. Hi, Poofy. So that was pretty much everything for today's video, guys. I really hope these tips helped you and you learned something new today. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.